In the previous video, we learned how to add items. In this video, we're going to see how we can delete them. So let's get started. Okay, uh, so uh, now what we're going to do is to actually uh, add the functionality to be able to delete an item. Uh, and for that, uh, what I'm going to do first is just to make it make my app a little bit more beautiful. Um, so I'm going to add uh, actually a container uh, and, and wrap my to-do list around a container. Uh, it's just to center everything and it looks a little bit better. Uh, okay, so I'm going to add the component container and then let's take the to-do list. Okay, so it looks slightly better. Uh, not great, but slightly better. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to create um, an item component. So item.js and uh, I'm going to import React from React and I'm going to create a functional component that I'm going to name uh, item. So for that, I'm const item. Okay, and I'm gonna have an item as prop. And uh, I'm just going to return exactly what actually we had before. So uh, let's go back to the to-do list. Let me copy uh, whatever we had before and replace it by item. And I'm gonna pass item as a parameter, as, as a prop, sorry. <clears throat> uh, let's go back and just make sure that to export default item and import item in my to-do list. Uh, okay, everything's uh, working as before, but let me make it slightly different. So the idea is actually um, to add a button at the right side of the item. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use some React Bootstrap here. So I'm gonna use a row, um, and in my row, I'm gonna have uh, one column, and and my column is going to display the item.name. Okay, uh, let me import the uh, column raw for, uh, from uh, React Bootstrap. Okay, let's save everything and uh, everything is working as expected. Okay, so uh, I also need to add a key here. Yeah, just to uh, avoid any errors. Okay, um, we're actually going to add another column um, and this column will contain the button and uh, we can have a button of variant link, button variant equal the link. And I'm gonna add the text, so I'm gonna just add delete for now. Um, so I'm not adding any capability, but I'm, I need to import the button um, component here, okay. But um, let's make it a little bit more beautiful. So instead of having a, a delete button, I'm, I want to show an icon. So and for that, I'm going to npm install font awesome, and uh, I need just to add an, another import uh, to my index.js. I have I already copied that before, so I'm just going to paste it here. And let me go back to the component and actually add an an I element um, with a class name of FA, FA remove, and text change danger for the color. And there you go. Okay, cool. And we're gonna add an SX to the first column of 10. And uh, okay, so it's looking good. Okay, so uh, now we're gonna go to our um, to-do list. But before that, let's actually implement a function here. Uh, let's implement the delete function and we're gonna do exactly the same thing we, do, we did before. And what I mean by that is that we're going to, to create an on delete function and uh, this function is gonna uh, execute another uh, on item delete function that is gonna be passed by the to-do list to the parent component. So let me add on click on the lead button um, and let's add uh, the on item delete function as a prop and just execute it an on delete function and we're gonna uh, delete the item 
that is that we already passed. Okay, so uh, let's define also the uh, on item delete function in the to do list component. So we're going to have item as a parameter, and uh, here again we're going to uh, handle so two situations. So we're going to uh, first use Axios delete uh, function and uh, pass the base URL for the endpoint. And what are we going to delete? So we're going to delete the item with the ID uh, of item ID. Okay. Um, uh, let's make sure to add uh, and then the uh, to update the front end uh, later on. So I'm going to add a comment for that. And uh, also uh, the delete function is going to be is an async function. So I'm going to add async, oops, async and await here. I'm also going to copy the on item delete and pass it as a prop to the item component. Okay, so uh, and then let's go to the items.js in my backend and add the delete item. So here again, I'm gonna use the router, I'm gonna use the delete middleware, uh, and I'm gonna mount it on slash dot id to pass id as parameter, and I'm going to define my callback function. So okay, so I'm gonna have, uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to actually deconstruct the uh, request.params to get the id, and and then what I'm going to do is uh, create a query object. And just like before, uh, we're going to use the delete, the delete query and delete from items where ID is going to be equal to question mark because we're going to pass the ID as parameter. I'm going to uh, so uh, call execute and execute the query uh, with parameter ID. I'm going to pass that to a constant named result and um, I'm going to res.status200 and send the result. Actually, I don't need to send it. So, Okay, so let's test that out. Uh, let's click on read my book and uh, if I refresh, actually, I don't see read my book here. Uh, if I refresh the browser, then it should disappear. There you go. Uh, one more thing that I'm, I'm going to do here is go back to my to-do list component and actually uh, yet to handle that. So I'm going to uh, create a new index uh, constant that is going to be equal to items.findIndex. So here I'm trying to do is just to find the index of the item that was selected. And, um, and then uh, what I'm going to do is uh, set the items. I'm going to use some ES6 here too. Um, so let's think about it. Dot, 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 items, dot, slice uh, from zero to index plus the items slice from index plus one. Okay, um, let's give it a try. And it's working, perfect. So now we know how to delete an item. In the next video, we'll see how we can update the items and how we can update data in Scylla DB and Scylla Cloud. All right, so I'll see you in the next video.